Now let's take a look at Anderson Sec 4 Prelim 2021, Paper 2, Question 6 1. Express this in partial fractions. Okay, so before we start, let's observe the term in numerator and denominator. Okay? Right, so we will see that the highest term is the x power 3. And if you expand this two out, okay, the denominator will have term in x power 3 as well. Okay? As long as the term is the same or higher, okay, the numerator term is the same or higher, step one will be long division. Okay, so I'm going to expand the denominator. Right? Okay, and this negative 3 with this one, negative 3 with 1. Okay? I'm going to arrange this during long division so that to match the same order as this, which is in descending order of. So, okay, right, so this one, okay, so that later it's easier for you to do long division. So let's check the first term here, I need to get 4. So that's 2, and you place a 2 over here. 2 times 2x cubed. I match the first term, and I will do multiplication of the next 3 terms. 2 with negative 3, negative 6x squared. 2 with 2x, 4x. 2 with negative 3, negative 6. Okay? Like what we usually do with division, this step will be subtraction, okay? This is our same term. This one has nothing left. This one, be careful. We're going to just say the number out. 9 minus negative 6. 9 plus 6. So you get 15. Next term, minus 17, minus 4, minus 21. Last term, minus 5. Minus negative 6, so minus 5 plus 6. Okay, we get remainder here. Now let's check. The term in the remainder, the highest term is x squared, which is lower than this one. Okay, so we stop here. Let's put this answer in this question here. We have quotient 2, go first. Add remainder. Put a numerator here. Okay, and this part is either the this one, okay, which I'm not going to write this, I'm going to write this factorized form. Okay, step one is done. Next step, I'm going to break this in partial fractions. I'm going to erase this part. Now, let's take a look at this part. I'm going to break this to two fractions. Okay. Right, so what do we write at the numerator? Let's just observe this. The highest term is an x. So the numerator here, you will get only a constant. How about this term? You have quadratic. So the term here will have the term in x and also a constant term. Okay? Next step, we're going to multiply these two, okay, to these three terms. So the first term when you multiply, this two is gone. Okay, we're left with this. This fraction, whatever you have here is gone, okay? So this is gone. You left this and this. And then the last term, this is gone. You left this and this. Okay. At this step, you have two choices. We can do substitution, which I will not do in this case. We're going to substitute 3 over 2, okay? It's pretty ugly. I'm going to avoid this. So I'm going to just do expansion, and then we'll do a comparison, okay? So let's expand this one and this one. Right, this is simple. And this one, we have four terms. 
Okay, let's just do thumb by thumb carefully. Next term, last term, okay? Now, we already do comparison. Okay, we're gonna compare, let's say we compare x squared term, okay? We're gonna underline x squared, we have this one, and we have this one, okay? I'm just gonna take the coefficient out, which is a from here, Coefficient here is a plus 2b equals to x squared term coefficient 15. Okay, that's the first one. Second, let's look at x term. Okay, so we have over here, same thing, I'm just going to grab coefficient. We have negative 3b. plus 2c equals to negative 21, right? And the leftover is a constant term, a minus 3c equals to what? Okay, let's just label this 1, 2, and 3. Three unknowns, three equation ready to solve. Okay, let's just look at what can we do? Okay, I'm going to choose to start because A has no numbers here in front, right? So I'm going to write, okay, this one is closer to down here. I'm going to just write A as subject using the last line. It goes to 1 plus 3C. And I'm going to replace here, okay? Place it here. So 1 plus 3C plus 2B is 15, okay? So this one only have BC with number. BC with number. I'm going to make the same pattern. B, C with number. B, C, this one is 14. Okay, rearrange it, right? And then we're going to see how we're going to solve. Okay, 2B here, negative 3B here. I'm going to make this to 6. Multiply by 3. Multiply by 3 is 9. 14 times 3, 42. That's equation number 4. Okay? I'm going to use this, okay? I'm going to reach the same number, okay? This is negative, doesn't matter. I'm going to times 2 here, I'll get a negative 6. I'm going to times 2 to 2c, two so that will be 4c. Times 2 here, I'll label it as 5, and I'm solving 4 and 5, okay? We're going to add 4 and 5. This one add is gone, okay? So add 9 and 4, give it 13c. 42. Add with negative 42, nice, you get 0. Okay, that's okay. So next step, C value must be 0. So what we are doing at here is equation 4 plus equation 5. Okay, we reach this step. Okay, so now that I have 0, let's insert in one of this. So where is C here? I'm going to use number 3. So we have A minus... 3 times 0 is still 0. So A value is 1. And once I have 1, we're going to use equation number 1 here. Okay. So we have B equals to 7. Okay. I'm going to replace this one into this two and rewrite it here, okay? Remember, I still have a two here, write it back. And this one will become this, so A value just now was one. And this BX, B is seven just now. And C is zero, so there's nothing else. Over X squared plus one, okay? So see the process, we do long division, okay, to get this two, and then we further do another step to split it up into further two fractions.